We are rocking and rolling here on Radio Row. Here at Super Bowl week, we are in Miami, Florida, and that means we get to talk to the biggest names who have the best experience, especially we've got a Super Bowl champion with the Green Bay Packers, Marshall Newhouse here. And you're on the other side now, you're getting to do all the media interviews. But when you were, when you were playing in the Super Bowl, what was that week like for you? Uh, yeah, it's, it's a whirlwind. I mean, there's actually two weeks. People forget about the first week where you're still in your city, but you're practicing and you're like, there's no game on Sunday. So yeah. with that part's a little weird. But then you trying to you travel to the city, then you do the media day stuff, and it's a circus. It really is just kind of crazy. And then you kind of try to settle into some kind of routine. We ended up practicing at a high school because there was like a there was like a, a ice storm, and there's a lot of just weird things that went on. But then you kind of like, all right, this is what I remember. This is what I know and you get to get your mind right for the game. So it settles down. Yeah, when you see it now, like with social media and everyone's trying to break news and insiders, like how different is that in just terms of like information, people trying to get information? Uh, it's Yeah, it's a little different. I mean, that was kind of like on the cusp of it, I guess, 2010. Mm -hmm. um, but now, you know, people have just have they instant access through social media and all that stuff. So as long as it's different, but as long as you're not letting it be a distraction, it's not that big a deal. I mean, you can make of it as big a thing or as little a thing as you want. Um, some guys are not as smart or not as savvy, so they, right. it kind of becomes a negative, but I mean, overall, it's not that bad. Um, and you know, you had a great experience with the Super Bowl. You won it with Aaron Rodgers as your quarterback, Green Bay Packers against the Steelers. And for us that don't know Aaron Rodgers, what kind of guy is he like? Uh, great guy, just kind of like one of the boys. I mean, he's in the building, super competitive, literally in everything. I mean, like we're playing like book taking games on the table and he's like talking crap and trying to win every single hand or whether it's cornhole or you know doing a walkthrough I mean that's just he doesn't turn off in that sense but um, definitely he's just a great guy very laid back he's like California mm -hmm. um, but um, I always appreciated how conscientious he was just about the world I mean football was our focus but he's definitely a guy you can have a conversation with about just about anything and he had some really? kind of knowledge to it so yeah definitely you know smart guy um, witty sense of humor, always, you know, cracking jokes and stuff like that. That's stuff people don't really see. Yeah, you talk about the competitiveness. When we had a, a former NFLer slash bachelor, bachelor contestant, bachelorette contestant, Clay mm -hmm. Harbor, who's a tight end. That's he my future. That's where I'm yeah. going. <laughs> well, hey, you the know bachelor. what? Like, I applied for the bachelor <laughs> and I didn't get on. So um, maybe you might have better luck than me. Um, actually, before we get to that, you're thinking maybe about maybe doing a little media? That's yeah. That's one of the avenues I've been considering. You know, if you know when uh, retirement comes and uh, broadcast analyst, that whole thing. You see guys who are, who've tried that who are doing that currently. So uh, that's something I'm considering. I think I'd be pretty good at, it, but we'll kind of take it as it goes. I think you're good at it. I, I think you got it. it. I think you got it. I got it already. All right, mm -hmm. that's all it took. All right, good. As I'm someone with a, a TV show here that has stickers on the microphone, nice. I'm a good judge <laughs> of talent. Um, but you are a businessman, and tell us what you're here working on, like promoting and whatnot. Yeah, so I'm uh, a new member on the advisory board of the NFLPA's One Team Collective. Uh, it's an accelerator uh, for startups. Um, we provide access to capital and to the intellectual property of uh, NFL players and their likenesses. And on the reverse side, we provide access for players to start up companies as an investor potentially, or just working in partnership with them. So we provide just kind of that, that framework to let the startups um, take that next step in becoming a bigger business while using some of the the value that the NFLPA provides as far as the group licensing right. and all that stuff. Awesome. That's a great initiative. Yeah. Now, I just cut myself off before a question I was going to ask you, but uh, about Tom Brady, he's super competitive, of course. You played with him last year. You protected him. What's something that would surprise us? Were you putting that in us? quotes right there? Or was that like... <laughs> That's what I imagine. Oh, that was your... Linemen. Like in the 70s before they changed yeah, the rules. Little, it's like, good. Batman. It's good. Pow. What's it like uh, protecting Tom Brady? Uh, what's it like protect? I mean, it's you feel like you've got the... The president behind you, and like by all means necessary, you have to get that done. Um, no, he's great. He's a great teammate. Um, he's a super competitive guy, fiery. I just, you, you wouldn't want to play with anyone else. You want that kind of guy to lead you. Um, and at the end of the day, a really good player, you know, but people sometimes want to like poke holes in and all that stuff, which I don't get. But um, yeah. ultimately, a great teammate, a fiery competitor, a guy you love being around, even in a locker room. That you know, football the season, it's a lot of tedium. There's a lot of meetings, a lot of walkthroughs, just back and forth, and that stuff can kind of wear you down and grind you down. Um, Tom is definitely you know 
accountable in that sense of where we're, when we're at work, we're working, but he also kind of breaks up the monotony and he's just a guy you love being around and uh, you appreciate him for those things. You've protected a lot of quarterbacks in your day and I got to just ask you a couple quick QB <laughs> questions. All right. Which quarterback would you call if you needed them to bail you out of jail? Uh, I'll go Eli because I think he's probably been to jail or maybe not. Oh, well, maybe. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, he hasn't. It. He hasn't. Yeah, he, Jail no, for, he would understand. He wouldn't. He yeah. would ask the least questions, and he would understand. Yeah, that's awesome. Which quarterback would you leave on read receipts? Like you know, when you're on your phone, Jimmy Garoppolo <laughs> apparently does this to George Kittle. Who, who would I purposely leave on read? Which quarterback would do that to you? Oh, would do. Oh, Aaron for sure. He would. He just. You know, he's streaky as far as the communication, but. You know, when you got him in in person, he's good. When you got him. You got to talk to him, or else he's just gonna annoy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, which quarterback do you want throwing your bachelor party? Oh man. I'll go Tom. Tom, Ooh. he's had a good time over the years. I can confirm. Um, I would definitely, <laughs> I would definitely, be comfortable, maybe too comfortable with him throwing my bachelor party. I love that. And he's got the connections, right? He's Gal, got the connections. Gal, we'd we'd come out. back, maybe you know, a man down, but we'd have a good time. <laughs> that means it's a good party. Yeah. Okay. Um, before we let you go, we want to play a quick game. Oh. Uh, if you've ever played the game Mad Libs, it's yeah. where you know you get, you know, whatever words and whatnot, fill it out. So we're going to do this with trash talking, because so okay. you probably heard a lot of this stuff thrown around on the field. All right. And I'm going to ask you, OK, tell me a family member, just like. Uh, like uh, like, like their says, actual name? No, no, just a. Aunt. What? OK, an aunt. Uh, kids menu item. Wait, 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 I'm confused. Yeah, just like name a kid's menu item. Oh, OK, you're, you're OK. Um, yeah. Macaroni. Keep up with my ADD, I, OK? Oh, my gosh, macaroni <laughs> and cheese. Uh, an elementary school grade. Like a letter grade? I think it means like a means? number. Se second, third, Oh, oh okay, I got you. Um, yeah. Fourth. It's, these are notes from my producer. I'm not Thank smart you. right now. It's no, right. no, you're not. You, you, you were hung out to dry. Okay, it's all good. what you're going to do is you're going to read this <laughs> to the camera, okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. What tone am I taking? Is this oh, like. Oh, you're. Yeah, this trash, is trash, talk? this is trash right. talking. <laughs> all, right, all right, here we go. <laughs> so right here? Yeah. All right. Hey, Richard Sermon, you could play more than my aunt after they can't get mac and cheese. Stop crying. This isn't your fourth grade party all over again. Awesome. That's a great chirp. In a sinking boat, who would you save? Aaron Rodgers, <laughs> Eli Manning, Tom Brady. Who would I save? Yeah, you only get one. Oh, man. Come on. What? Um, the question was written by that guy, obviously. So yeah, <laughs> and he had to sneak it in. Like that was a must. We were done, and he was gonna like we were clear get him to answer it. this for sure, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, I'm going. No, I'm going like. I'm going like Sapuka. I'm sacrificing myself. They can wow. all live. I'm well, the ultimate team player. That was they right. can all leave. I just flipped sounded, it on your head. Yeah, you that tried was to very get me. Canadian. No. That was good. That was good. <laughs> Mind Games here on Call It A Night. Thank you so much, Marshall Appreciate Newhouse, it. for being with us here today. Uh, make sure you check out all the cool stuff he's doing with the NHLPA. Sorry, the NFLPA. Would be pretty cool if you're working with the NHLPA. Right. Yeah, That's a crossover. Hockey. No one's yeah. seen that yet. <laughs> no one's seen Subon, that yet. Subban, I'm coming. Who knows? Maybe. All right, guys, we'll have more coming up on Call It A Night. Don't go anywhere. Hey, everyone. JSB here. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Fubo Sports on YouTube. Or else, I guess you could watch puppy videos. That sounds good.